Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Imagine you are in the middle of a complex project and you realize some tasks have been placed in the wrong section of your project schedule. Maybe a design activity accidentally got lumped into with construction or some testing activity ended up under the wrong phase. Don't panic. Today, we will learn how to easily move activities around within your WPS to keep everything organized and on track. So let's say this is my project and I need to move an activity from uh, this activity's client review, for example, and feedback section. Let's say it needs to go into my finalize and handover. All I just need to do is to have got two options here and actually right click on it and cut it and go to this WBS and click on paste. Now I have it in that WBS. Let's say that's not what I want uh, or I want to use another technique. Another technique would be this is a bit tricky, so just follow. So when you click on the activity you need to move and you know where you need to move it to, then you just move to the left hand side of this band. As you can see, there's a rectangle underneath my cursor. Okay, so just need to do left click your mouse and drag the activity and move it to where you want it to go. Okay, again, let's move it back. So, you know, when you click on the activity, nothing is on you, under your cursor. So move to the left hand side of the band, the, the most uh, left band. So click on all the down um, and, you know, bring it back. So that's how you move activities from one, you know, um, WPS or one place to the other. I prefer your first option because what if the activity you are moving or the WPS you are moving this activity to is, you know, is very far. Maybe you have, you know, like thousands of activities. So personally, I believe the best option will be just to, for you to cut the activity and paste and scroll down and paste to wherever you want to paste it to. Because there's a risk of you dragging the activity and mistakenly releasing your hands on the mouse and the activity will drop into another WBS and you might be, you know, trying to find it where it's going to. So to take control of that, just right click on there, cut it and paste it to wherever you want it to go. Okay, so uh, another exercise I would like us to do, let's say our project manager, you know, I've reviewed this program and they said this finalization and, finalization and handover activity should be split into three. So I've called this um, exercise here. So let's try this. So he's saying that we need to um, create a new WBS for operational readiness. We need to create another one for client transition and support. And we need to create another WBS for project closure and evaluation so how do i go about it so all i just need to do is to press your wbs icon here or go to your project and click on wbs so to take you to the wbs view so i want to add those two wbs to this final activity oh my god on my wbs view so click on these three times then you can move your wbs to the left move this one to the left as well so they are on the same level okay so all i just need to do here is to copy and paste the name or you can just write it out if you want so i copy the name of the wps is here so that's client and trade transition and support and the last one which is the project closure and evaluation okay so i've got my three wps here so just go back to your activity and uh, if you see that your wps although you've aligned it with your wps view but still showing here that it's being aligned so press f5 or go to file and say refresh data so when we refresh data now we'll see all our WBS are on the same line and they've got the same color okay so all i just need to do now is to go back to the uh, the feedback from the project manager and say okay, all these activities need to be moved underneath the operation now readiness okay so let's do that now yeah so the first way to do it is to click on those activities so team onboarding integration safety inspection training of staff and performance optimization so these are the activities i need to move underneath this operational readiness so the, i'll use the force method so just you know click on here drag it and drag everything underneath your uh, wba so everything is underneath there now so the next one is the client transition and support so what are the activities so i need to add this uh, marketing final client and post deployment so i'll do that right now so um the first one is the marketing and promotional activities final project inspection um final project report compilation 
the client handover are retraining, then the post deployment. Okay, post deployment. All I just need to do here is to cut and I can come in here and click on the level, the WBS that you want to paste it to and click on paste. All right. So for the last one, I know these are all the activities that are left. Um, so I've got project closure meeting, I've got feedback collection, uh, yeah, feedback and collection analysis, project documentation on social media marketing campaign. You can code this as well and paste it in here. Okay, so now there you have it. So we've moved all the activities in the initial WPS to our sub WPS. Okay. You might be asking where are these color coding from? So just right click in there, go to your group and sort. So when you go to your group and sort, you see here that um, your uh, the first level is blue. So that's why you have this band that's blue. The next one is green. That's why you have this band that's green. And the last one is yellow. So that's why you have this one as yellow. So if you create another sub WBS here, you would see that it will be um, blue. All right. So that's, you know, uh, moving activities within a particular WBS. So what if you have different projects and you want to move activities or WBS from one project to the other? How do you go about this? All you just need to do, you know, let's say I've got these two projects that I need to move activities within. So all I just need to do is to open those two projects together by highlighting those projects, right clicking and click on open project. Okay. So when your project is open, so you have these projects. If you would control minus on your computer or just go to uh, view collapse hall, you see that these are the two projects that I've got and going on here. So what I want to do now is to add a WPS or an activity from one project or copy from one project to the other. Okay. So you just all just need to do is to go to your WPS tab. WPS view, don't forget you can go to uh, project and click on WPS. So now I've got my WPS here. So let's say um, I want to move some activities or some WPS. So let's say I want to move all these. I've got two activities here underneath elevator. I want to move this elevator to my execution. All I just need to do is right click on there and click on copy. And go to your execution and right click and click on paste. Okay, it will ask you this uh, prompt. Then just click on OK. If you be doing this, you know, um, often, so you might actually click on do not show this dialog again. And it will tell you that you can reset this option next time you run the application, next time you log in. So click on that and do not show me this again. And then click on that. Okay. So now if I go to my initial um, view of activity view, and you go to your execution facing here, you would see now that I've got the elevator. WBS. All I just need to do now is to create the relationship within the particular project. Okay. So let's try it one more time. So let's go back to WBS view. So let's move something from here. Let's say we want to move this final finalization and handover to the other project, the Nesbit building expansion. Just click on copy here and I will go to, uh, let's say I want to put it on the highest level. So I'll just right click here and click on the paste. So click on the setting. Okay. Then you can move it down or move it up, you know, as much as you like. So I want to move it to the last activity now. So as you can see, in my Nesbit building expansion, I've got this WBS copied over. So that's a separate project on its own. So if you want to check what you've done, you can go back to your project, right click on this innovation, right, open the projects individually. So right click on this in innovation tech project, then you will see your excavator um, section. Uh, elevator section so as you can see now we now have elevator section in this program or just introduce the link it accordingly if you go back to the second project as well you know right click on click on this and open separately so what do you have so if you go to the last wbs in the program you should see the program that we've copied over so this finalization and and over okay so there you have it guys thanks for watching if you find this video helpful Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more Primavera PCs tips and tricks. Do you have any other Primavera tips that you want me to cover? Let me know in the comment section. Cheers. Bye. See you on the next one.